All right, so I had someone asking about breaking down sound compression, specifically in the newer cannons. So this right here is Lane Nutter's first Riff Cannon, the one that was released a year and uh, I guess three months ago, 15 months ago. Uh, basically revolutionized cannoning on a grander scale. It made people actually have to approach cannoning scientifically, which I think is not a bad thing. So what's happening here is the basis of sand compression is, and how he did it, is you need to have the sand aligned. So what happens is when you're dropping the sand in, you will be able to actually align it to the side rather, if it was, rather than if it was a solid block. And so also what this allows him to do is queue up a bunch of sand at once. So basically about 20. So you have the piston, you have the, excuse me, you have the cobweb down there and the cobweb here, and you stack it up. So a quick pulse goes off, and the sand quickly falls in, so you could queue up 20 sand. So I went through some really old <laughs> saves. I haven't touched this in over a year. It was on an external hard drive. But with the first Lane Archer Cannon, you know, basically the quick, the excuse me, the cobwebs are only used to align the sand and stack some. What I did here, and a bunch of other people did as well, like Tiger Sleep, we had multiple pistons push and push all the sand together in cascade. So this one, this whole system goes off first, pulls it all into this while this is falling. So effectively, you could double the sand up, 40 stackers, 60 stackers, 120 stackers, etc. You could just put in a ton of sand up the sky limit, and then you have multiple pistons. The issue with that is you had to have tall segments, of tall pillars. So if you only had three pistons, you know, you could basically limit it to 60 sand per piston, and you can only have like a 180 stacker, for example. So as you got closer to sky limit, you could stack less and less sand, which coincidentally meant you could not stack a lot of sand. Then Disaster came along with his, what he called, slug cannon. And basically, you use TNT compression to shoot the piston, excuse me, push the sand into the barrel. Uh, so you would queue it up kind of the same way with the cobwebs. Uh, so you have this large system, so you don't have to put 10 sand in. Uh, 10, 5, uh, 50, 100, okay, you put like 20 sand in. So 20 sand in, up to here, and each one would cascade down. So that falls in, once that all falls, this whole piston pushes it here, and then that cascades into here, and then the, those pistons push here. So as the sand is falling as an entity, the TNT compression here explodes, shoots it all down here into a cobweb, where it queues up once more, and then is finally piston pushed into the barrel. So this was like a huge change because you could actually shoot much higher. And actually you could put third and fourth uh, piston walls like this. So you'd have a, like, the system go like to out here, for example, but then you could just stack a lot of sand. You could stack 200, 230 sand at once. So for the longest time, the biggest thing with cannoning was that previous sand compression. However, talking with Disaster, he had this pretty cool idea. And this came from him back in June, July, something like that. This is one of the, I don't want to say last known cannons, but this was actually going to be a release, like a public release back in June, July. But a lot of stuff was going down with the optic craft community, and um, a lot of other things were going on. So I guess he decided not to do this. I don't remember specifically why. There's a there's a lot of hush hush behind what was going on with this release and YouTube videos and whatever. Anyways, how this works? Well, instead of having like that whole messy system with lots and lots of cobwebs, which took forever to place the cobwebs then actually stack, you had a platform you could stack sand on. You place the cobwebs down here. And then here as well in this specific case. So as the sand is falling, so all the sand falls and then the pistons automatically close once all the sand does uh, falls down in the cobwebs. That's just done by timing systems here. So as the sand is pooling up here, keep in mind you can still push the, the uh, falling sand while it's in the cobwebs. So let's see if you can see, but um, the boosters back there ignite, these then ignite. So as the sand's pooling, and eventually it all pools and this system up here closes. So you have to get creative with timing. But all the sand is falling, these, this pulses upwards, thus launching the sand upwards slightly. Before it becomes a solid and breaks most of it, these explode. So now you have falling sand. 
that is moving, moving, then collects here, and then a very similar system happens from here into the barrel. So that was like a huge change, and it was really, it was kept on the download for a very, very long time. Here we have one of the cannons I made some time ago. I posted the download for it like a hundred times. Check out some of the other videos if you really want it. But as for the sand compression, start here. I know the wiring's forward. So this right here, these boosters light off, follow the current through, then this fall uh, lights off. At the same time, we have a loop here. So when these pistons open, which I'll demonstrate, this current goes, 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 goes. Ideally, you'd have the redstone torch back, so that would turn this off. Uh, and of course, that's not going to work correctly. But it would shut that. And then the whole system would repeat itself. So then down here, uh, again, horribly wired. Timing goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Eventually, this whole circuit goes. There's a quick pulse here, which then quickly raises these pistons so the sand is in a falling form. So it's about here-ish when these boosters go off. Launching it into these pistons, the whole system repeats itself, shoots it into the barrel. So it just means you can put less cobwebs and people can fill the cannon faster.